Welcome to week five. You have two main goals this week. Number one is to explore the origins of Black History Month because February is Black History Month. And it's important that we all learn to appreciate and recognize the contributions of Black people historically and contemporarily in this country. So you're going to watch a couple of videos um, that focus on the origin of Black History Month. And then also you get to choose uh, whichever video in a video series that I helped create with my colleague, Dr. Lisa William. Um, you're going to have a choice of the second video that you get to watch. And this will be the basis for your discussion post this week. So while you're watching the videos, make sure that you are paying close attention to the questions that are posted in the discussion post, because that's what you will be basing your reflection on. And try to make connections, even though, uh, you know, you may not be African American, try to make connections. What um, similarities are there or common commonalities are there between your experience in this country and that of Black or African Americans. You will also be completing your first quiz, which is due on Sunday night by midnight. Now, every quiz that you will ever take in this class is going to be multiple choice. There will be 15 questions. Each question is worth two points. So it's 30 points all together. Very important that you complete this quiz. If you miss out on 30 points, that is a big hit to your overall grade in this class. So make sure that you complete the quiz. You can use any of the readings, the videos, the lessons, the activities, the discussion posts, the reflections, anything that we've covered over the past five weeks, it is an open book, open note test. So you can use any of your resources to help you answer the questions, especially the videos, because the videos contain the definitions to the vocabulary words that will show up in the quiz. So make sure you're going back and need, if you need to rewatch some of those videos for the vocabulary words. That's why it's so important that you watch the videos that I create every week. Um, you're definitely going to um, want to take this quiz earlier than later. I highly advise you not to wait until late Sunday night to start this quiz. It shouldn't be complete in five minutes. Sometimes I, I'm able to tell um, how long each student takes on a quiz. And sometimes I look and see five minutes, seven minutes. This is not a quiz that should be done or easily completed successfully in seven minutes. So take your time with it and make sure you give yourself enough time to do a good job. One of the wonderful things about my policy is that if you take this test quiz rather and you receive a score that you're not happy with, you can retake it so that you can get a higher score. My goal is for you to learn this information, not to stress you out when it comes to uh, being tested or quizzed. So please make sure you're reading all of the instructions, take your time, and of course, ask me if you have any questions or if there are any issues with accessing the quiz this week. You only have one very short article to read this week titled, Why is Black History Month in February? This week, you will begin by watching the video titled Dr. Carter G. Woodson and the History of Black History Month. And you will also choose another video or videos from the Sankofa series, which is a black history series that I created with my colleague, Dr. William. You will choose a video from the Sankofa series as your second video to watch this week. All of the instructions are in your modules. The two assignments that you are responsible for in week five are your discussion post three, which is based on the videos that you'll be watching this week, and also quiz number one, which is due by midnight on February 19th, which is a Sunday.
If you have any questions, email me ASAP. But the last thing that I will add is please do not wait until Sunday night, late at night, to begin your quiz. It might take you time to navigate through our previous readings, videos, activities, etc., and I don't want you to miss the deadline of midnight. Again, I want you to take your time. You can utilize all the resources that have been provided for you in the past five weeks to do your best on this quiz. And you can take it again if you don't like your score. As always, I thank you for watching this presentation and we are stronger together, of course. I'll see y'all next week.